What's up Japanese baseball betters? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV and I have a pick for Japanese baseball for August 15th, Thursday. This game will be Thursday at 6 p.m. Japan time, which is 2 a.m. Thursday morning Arizona time. So the last week uh, I was on summer vacation and I did not have the capability to make videos. However, I was uh, sending out pics almost every day on my Twitter. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, go to at JPBaseballTV, no slashes or spaces or anything, uh, and that's where I'm at. And you'll get my pics uh, without uh, having to watch uh, the YouTube video. If you'd like to see the reasoning or, or the stats behind my pics, uh, please watch the videos. Also, please like and subscribe my channel here at uh, Japanese Baseball TV. Um, I would appreciate it. Uh, trying to build the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. So our record now is 34, 15, and 2, which is pretty darn good. Um, last two days, uh, day before yesterday, I went 3 and 1. If you go look at my Twitter, you'll see you'll see my picks there. I went 3 and 1 two days ago, and then I went 1 and 1 today. So that was a 4 and 2 record in the last two days. Uh, didn't make videos for them, uh, but now I'm back from summer vacation and I will be making some videos and sending them out on Twitter as well. So here's the pick for Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. Japan time, Thursday, 2 a.m. Arizona time. The pick will be the Cebu Lions versus the Oryx Buffaloes. Um, Cebu Lions are sending out a pitcher named Honda, and he started the season very rough. However... Uh, he's come down. Uh, he's come back down to earth. He's come into form. He's got 61 innings pitched with a 3.84 ERA. His strikeout ratio is only 5.16, which is not very good. However, uh, his WHIP is 1.23, which is acceptable. Uh, and tomorrow he's playing against Oryx, who has the worst lineup in Japan. Although Oryx has been scoring lately, but I'll get to that in just a minute. So you'll see for Honda in his last six games. Um, he goes five innings, seven, five, six, seven, seven. So he goes, he goes fairly long, which is good because Sabu does not have a very good bullpen. So in June, uh, he gave up four runs, four runs, five runs. So he was really having a very tough, uh, May and June, but you can see in his last starts, he's gone six innings, giving up zero, seven, one inning. Going, giving up zero and seven innings here, giving up one. So he's really come into form. One of those starts, which is right here on June 29th, was against Oryx. So he went six innings and gave up nothing. Um, and Sabu's lineup has been hitting the skin off the ball lately. So um, I like Sabu tomorrow. Uh, but let's go a little more in depth here. Um, you can see that against Oryx, he's pitched six innings, he's given up none. He's walked two, he struck out five, and gave up two hits. So not only has he been coming into form lately, but his one start against Oryx, he shut them out for six innings. Um, and Oryx, you can see here, they've lost four games in a row, where Cebu has won five in a row. So Cebu's on a bit of a roll, and their lineup is just crushing it. They beat Oryx tonight. Uh, let's see, they were down... They were down six to one, and they ended up coming back and winning nine to eight. Um, so Sabu is just crushing the ball, and Orx is hitting a little better than they normally do. Um, but still, I trust Honda and Sabu tomorrow much more than I trust Orx. So uh, Orx is putting out uh, Cho is the pitcher that's going tomorrow. Um, so let's take a look at his season. He's only pitched seven innings, so it's not a very good sample size. He's got a 3.52 ERA with a 0.91 WHIP. It's just a small sample size, so it's really hard to tell. Um, he did two relief appearances. One of them right here, May 19th, was against Sabu. He went one inning and gave up two runs. Um, and then his only start, he went up against Nippon Ham for six innings and gave up one. So he pitched fairly well. Um, but against Cebu, he gave up two runs in one inning in, in a relief appearance. So we don't have a lot of data to go by here. And um, for his career, this is he's a rookie. So we really don't have any data to go on, except the fact that Cebu uh, knocked him around pretty good, 
getting two innings off him, uh, two runs off him in one inning the last time they went against him. That added to the fact that Cebu has the best lineup in Japanese baseball. Um, Oryx has the worst lineup in Japanese baseball. Honda seems to be able to handle Oryx. As you can see, he's got a 3.84 ERA on the season and zero against Oryx. Well, it's only one start, six innings. So I like uh, Seibu money line against Oryx tomorrow. This is the Thursday game, 6 p.m. Japan time, Thursday morning, Arizona, 2 a.m. Arizona time. The odds are not out yet on this, but I imagine when they come out tomorrow, Seibu will probably be a minus 120 or so favorite. Uh, if they are, jump on it. Uh, Sebu should handle Oryx tomorrow, so that's my pick for this video. I will start making videos again since I'm back uh, from my summer vacation. But you should still follow me on Twitter if you want to get the picks because sometimes I can't make videos, but I do put them out on Twitter. Again, my Twitter account is at JPBaseballTV, um, and that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the contents, please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more. Thanks, guys.